What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing a little electrical troubleshooting. I'm going to take you through some steps to show you exactly why something might not work. And, um, you know, I'm already mid-project as you can see behind me. So uh, I figured I'd get the camera out and show you. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to attempt to show you in the best way I can um, exactly what's going on here. So I have one of these uh, one of these timers on the inside of the house that controls the light on the outside of the house out here. Um, Rambo's hanging out out here. So I've taken the light off and I have the wires hanging out. Um, I basically was measuring power out here and turns out I only had about 60 volts coming into the um, right here on the wires. So when I came over here, I was able to shoot 120 volts here at the switch coming out of here, but I was not getting 120 volts outside. So a quick electrical lesson for you guys, um, if you're getting the power that you need where the wire starts, and then you go to the other end and you're not getting power, and you're reasonably sure that uh, the line is not cut or otherwise shorted or anything like that, then more than likely you have an issue with your common. So as with anything in life electrical, you have to make a complete circuit. So that light bulb screwing into the light bulb socket completes that circuit. That power is going from your black wire through the light bulb and back through the white wire and going back to the electrical panel. So if you are getting 120 volts on your black wire or your power wire headed out to the light and at the light when I disconnect it, it's only getting 60 volts AC, then guess what? We probably have a common problem. Not a common problem like it happens all the time, but a problem with my common wire. So I'm about to show you in here, I've, I've uh, stumbled upon the problem real quick. Um, anytime you open up a wall outlet, just be extremely careful. Uh, if you're troubleshooting it live like this, sometimes it's necessary. Take the necessary precautions. Um, use a multimeter. Don't be using your hands and touching wires and stuff. Um, if you want to touch the wires or you need to, we're going to shut the power down. So now I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to turn off the circuit to this, um, and we're going to take off the, uh, the common uh, nut on the common wires. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find a wire that might be loose or broken or something that goes directly to that light. All right, guys, now that our circuit's dead, all of our lights are off here. Um, not, uh, not live now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna investigate back here and figure out if one of these common wires is um, loose. So we have our common wire to our timer here. Um, I was measuring, this is our feed line back here. I was measuring 120 volts here. When you, twi uh, when you trip this on, 120 volts came out of my other wire. So we're good here, the timer's working well. It's just the circuit isn't being made um, at the other side of the loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this wire nut here live on camera and we should be able to see something here just staring us wide open in the face. Come on, baby. Okay. So it looks like one of the wires, aha, exactly what I thought. So this wire here on the back, um, let's make sure this goes, I think it's exactly what I was thinking here. This wire here should go back to our light and absolutely it does, sweet. So it was a, a common wire problem on uh, the wire going back to, uh, back to my light. So, uh, any outdoor um, any outdoor light problem that you have, it might be right here in your box that's, uh, that has a switch controlling your outdoor light. Because this wire, um, I'm reasonably sure that this wire goes straight from here out to the box outside. So having it stepped back in the wire nut like that, it probably wasn't getting a good connection. 
it was getting about a 50% connection, if you think about it, that it was getting 60 volts and not 120 volts. So we're going to um, do this better. Um, I'm gonna put a bigger wire nut on here. It probably needs a red, big red wire nut. I'm gonna put a big red wire nut on here and then we'll get it all put back together and uh, we'll go ahead and test it. All right, so we're back up at the switch. Uh, all my lights are on. I have a reasonable expectation that this is going to work because um, I had a little bit of power before, but now I've put a new wire nut here, make sure this was good and solid, and I'm going to go outside and check my light out. And ta-da, piece of cake. All right guys, so I did a lot of that troubleshooting off of the camera, um, really wasn't all that exciting. I'm just shooting wires and trying to figure it out how to take my light apart. And um, once I figured out there was only 60 volts, I knew I probably had a problem with that common. So a common problem, a common solution, um, all of the puns that you'd like to uh, include there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you click subscribe. Um, I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I really don't have much to say. I'm bumping my gums too long. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video.